lot of fudge during this break. But I worked it off tonight in stress in the first uh, first quarter. I, I thought defensively we didn't have a whole lot of energy in the first quarter, but I was really proud of how we turned it around. I think we gave them, what, 26 the first quarter. We gave them 36 for the rest of the game. So uh, kids played a little bit harder. A little, we tightened things up. We started switching some uh, into different defenses and tried to keep them off balance best we could. But boy, they showed they can be a really good basketball team in that first half. But uh, um, anyway, uh, good effort. I thought it was a really good effort tonight. Took care of the ball. We didn't shoot it like, like we normally do, but, uh, but overall, I, I was really pleased with the effort. Well, I think our focus was on not really much strategy. It was just fundamentals. We weren't closing out properly. We weren't switching the way uh, we wanted to switch. We were, you know, we didn't really play to the scout. You know, number thirty-one's a heck of a player, and we talked all week about, you know, taking the right shoulder away. And guess what? She went right shoulder every time and scored every time. I mean, you know, at some point you just kind of got to jolt them back into reality a little bit. But uh, but the tone was, I think, for the most part, positive, and they took it upon themselves. We actually cut out a little early and let them kind of figure it out. And they did. I'm proud of them. Uh, yeah, she was she was great. I don't know if she had to have had double figure assists. 12. Yeah, great job. She didn't shoot well tonight. Uh, her parents, her family's here from Spain. And so I think she was feeling a little maybe a little pressure, but uh, a great job of, you know, just controlling tempo and doing the things she does. She's got just elite vision. It's terrific. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure part of it, but guess what? They were coming off a break, too, and they sure seemed to shoot well. So I never use those kind of things like final exams. Hey, listen, we're playing other colleges. Everybody has the same schedule, roughly. So um, no, I, I just think we just didn't come to play defensively. And then offensively, we were doing just fine. Yeah, well, she's been great. I think, uh, you know, this year especially, uh, she's a little bit more relaxed knowing she doesn't have to play point guard. So, you know, she's got somebody that can, can run the club, so to speak, and now she can just focus on doing the things that she does well. That's running the floor, uh, you know, shooting the three really well this year and being able to, to defend and take some chances defensively and get some stuff, you know, maybe some pick sixes kind of things and, and get us going in transition. So, uh, yeah, she's just, I think, playing a more natural position for her. Uh, she's got a nose for the ball. You know, I kind of feel for our other post players, she doesn't leave many rebounds for them. But she just, some, some players just have a knack for that. You can't teach it, you know. How do you think Liz played tonight? You know, she claimed we needed good minutes just in the third quarter. I thought Liz was great. I thought she was a real key. You know, defensively did a good job on Ross. And then, uh, yeah, offensively, she kind of find an, she found a little opening in that, that zone and, uh, and made some, some easy shots. So I, I really like Liz's game. I mean, she does a really good job. Well, I feel good. I mean, we, we won all our games, and I, I know some people like to think that, well, you know, who have you played? Well, guess what? We played 11 teams, and, and we set a high bar, and I, I thought we've done a really good job. I think offensively we're further ahead than I ever thought we would be at this time with eight new players, but they've gelled offensively. Defensively, it's, it's still a work in progress. We've got to continue to get better. And we will, but uh, but overall, I, I think it's been a really good non-conference uh, season. Right now, are you guys prepared for Pac-12 play starting? Well, I think so, and we will be by Saturday. We will be we'll turn our, all our attention to that. Like I told them in the locker room tonight, we're zero and zero, just like everybody else, and it's a whole new season. And um, I've been in this situation before, where we've had uh, you know a record that, in, and maybe hadn't played a lot of close games. But I think he can still be prepared, you know. And like I gave him an example tonight, it was almost, my theory was almost shot, but of, of UConn. You know, how many close games does UConn play? And it certainly doesn't seem to hurt them. They, they, they play at a high level, they have a high standard, and, and so I think we can keep that going. But we realize that the competition is going to be a lot tougher, no question about it, no question. Anything else for Dylan? All right, you guys. Happy New Year.